basket as often as possible and try to create some foul situations for themselves. Rice is open, but misses. Glenn Rice, though, missing the open shot, continues to be a story. In the first playoff game, he made 15 of 19 in a win against the Hawks. Since then, only 41%. He is playing with a sore thumb on his shooting hand. Wesley misfires on a three, but Charlotte has the rebound. Rice with the head fake on Pippen. Now the jumper, and Scotty blocks it. Ahead to Harper, two on one. It's Harper all the way. Blocks him off. Rice, long with the three, and his shooting woes continue. As we mentioned, Scotty Pippen is a member of the NBA's all-defensive team for the seventh time, Michael Jordan for the ninth. These guys are perennials. You often see their names on the list. Gary Payton, the glove, and Matumbo, the defensive player of the year for the third time. Now, you talk about Pippen's defense. Glenn Rice is 0 for 5. Now, Pippen gets times. Devon's in the lane, draws three defenders, and Pippen pokes it away. Kerr picks it up. Here's Scotty at the other end from Michael. Pippen's first basket. Rice quickly back. Not many guys can help you as much when they're not scoring as Pippen can. But look at his overall floor play. Look what he's done defensively. Look at the feed just there to Kukoc. You know, over the last four to five years, Scottie Pippen is the second best player, in my opinion, in the league, right behind Michael Jordan. He does so many things for this team offensively and defensively. And when he wasn't there, they missed his leadership most of all. Where Pippen will try to exert his offensive will on the game. He's already shut Rice down. Rice is 0 for 5. Can he change it? Yes, he can. You're in for the first time for the Hornets. This is Rice shooting over Burrell and hitting. Happy to see anybody other than Pippen on him. Rice goes to work. Going to the double team or otherwise Glenn Rice is punishing him. That's three field goals without the double team. B.J. on. Pippen, who has done such a good job on Rice. Longley over on a double team. Three seconds to shoot. Curry out of the corner. No. Got his own rebound. Devots with room. Short. And it's Pippen. Here is Rice on the run. Off the glass. No good. Devots trying to follow. And the foul is on the Hornets. Rice was forced to take a tough shot, was trying to come off the screen. Pippen had him locked up in the screen, and when he finally freed himself, he was off balance, and he couldn't turn a corner to get squared up. You see, as he comes in, he isn't really unbalanced, and he can't really get squared up because of the congestion that he was trying to get through. Glenn Rice again on Burrell. He scored all eight of his points in this game on Burrell. Let's see if they go to him, and he can shake himself free. He has not been able to score on Pippen. And Burrell commits the foul off the ball, trying to deny Rice position. Harper can't make it two in a row. Look long. Pippen gets back and picks it off. Wesley was hanging back, trying to steal a basket. Pippen made the defensive play and may have hurt himself. He was holding his lower back, and the Bulls asked for time. Let's take a look. Maybe we can pick up how it happened. As Pippen goes up to intercept this pass, watch as he comes down on that one leg. And I think he twisted his back. You see him grab his back. All the force and weight came down on that one leg. Watch as he extends, and he comes down on that right leg, and boom, there it is. And all the force is registered right into that lower back. You see him grabbing his back right away. Now, after my first year coaching in Chicago with Scottie Pippen, he had back surgery and responded well and came back. So this is a guy, after his first year in the NBA, did have back surgery. But see, I love Scottie Pippen because he's a warrior. If you can think back to last year in that Washington series that they won 3-1, to one, he goes into Washington and he gets the last shot where he's hanging on the rim and he falls flat on his back and he gets right back up. Here's Ahmad. All right, thanks, Bob. Scotty Pippen, as you saw, just twisted his back a little bit. A sharp pain, but as you can see, he's still in the game, so he's fine. Bob? Steve. First pivot, Scotty buries the J. And now picks off the pass. He's gone. 
See, I, I think they made a huge mistake by not ch challenging Scotty to see if that back was okay. They let him rest during that three, four minute period, and now he's got himself back into a rhythm, feeling okay, and now he's ready to attack again. You see, Scotty Pippen out in the passing lane, he gets the steal. But more importantly, what I watched was as Scotty Pippen laid this ball in the basket, the body language of the Charlotte Hornets. It's almost like, you know what, guys? We can't win this game. Nobody even runs Scotty down, turns around, lays the ball in the basket. And I watched the whole Charlotte team as they walked over to Dave Cowens in that 20-second timeout. And right now, their spirits are about as down as I've seen in this game. intended for the cutting rice is picked off by Rodman. Let's talk about team defense. Michael Jordan fronting the post. Dennis Rodman. They're going to flash and try to go high-low. Plotty catches it. Rodman reads it all the way. They go to Glenn Rice. Rodman there is the interceptor. Team defense at its best. That's why the Bulls are the champions. Here is BJ with Kerr on him. Last minute and 20 seconds of the third quarter. A third quarter which began with Chicago up by four. They now lead by 17. Mason with an errant pass. He recovers it. Two seconds to shoot. Shot clock violation. The basket doesn't count. They were trying to run a play right there for Rice, and Scottie Pippen did an excellent job in the post, forced them to their second option. Pippen has been all over Rice this evening. This is the Bulls of the champions on the road. The Bulls actually take it to an extreme. Look what they're averaging at home this year and on the road. This is the third 50% plus game shooting. Look at the scoring differential, the rebounding. They love being on the road. They love the challenge of silencing the other team's home crowd. Rice with Pippen guarding him. Fade away, tough shot, doesn't hit it. And here comes Pippen. Glenn Rice has just two points in the second half of this game. Now, if you're Charlotte right now, you, you can't concede. You got to keep playing because you got another game coming up in Chicago. And this is a seven game series. You really don't want to give in right now. Armstrong behind Mason's screen, trying to work himself free. Baseline jumper overshot it. And it's grabbed by Rodman. One. Rice for three. That's the first he's hit. He's one for four on threes. Six of 16 overall. 13 points in the game. He's played every minute for Dave Cowens tonight.